Hey guys, how do you do? Welcome to the program users. For today, we're going to talk about file picker, and then we're going to see how to pick images from a file system using our file picker. Okay. Then, of course, show those particular images that we've picked inside our list view. This is what I'm talking about. Our list view so far empty. If we click off our button, it opens for us our picker activity right here. We simply select the images you're interested in. Let's say you want these five, okay? Now we can set the maximum Im number of images that we can select uh, using our file pick activity. Now for me, I select this, I set it to five. So I'm only able to select five, okay? So if we click done over here, our images get passed over right here to our main activity. And then of course, bound to our custom list for this is guys, this is what we're going to see right here. Let's say that I come this same round, I pick at uh, these four, okay? Then I click done right here, they get loaded uh, lazily using Picasso library. This is guys, this is what we're going to see. So join me, we get started. Let's come over right here to, and then create our project. I've already created my project. Once you've created your project, let's come over right here to our build or create now remember, this one right here is a list view, a custom list view that's going to have card views as a view items. So let's make sure right here that we have this particular uh, card view dependency. Okay, so please do that one. Once we've done th that one, then we're going to need two more third party libraries. Okay, here. First, the first one is called Android Ninja File Picker right here. This one is going to is what actually is going to give us uh, the access to that particular file picker the nice file picker dialog we are seeing so make sure that you add this one over right here and then of course uh, we're also going to have right here our picasso library we shall be using to load the images to our list view uh lazily so please these two ones right here are two third party libraries they're going to require internet connection so come add them and then of course sync our project okay to download them and then set them up in our project. Once we've done that one, uh, next we're going to move over to our resources right here. We're going to have a simple placeholder image that shall be showing while manually we're loading our images. Inside our content main, we'll need to make sure that we add the list view. So let's come over right here, add our list view. Then, of course, next we're going to move over to our model.xml. So inside our model.xml right here, I don't know the thing hanged. So inside this particular model.xml here, we're going to have this is going to act as a custom row right here. It's totally free to a custom row. You can see we simply have an image view and a text view. Let's move over to our classes. Classes, of course, for classes, we're going to have three classes custom adapter, where we're going to be inflating our layout and then binding our data. Here is our main activity where we shall instantiate at this particular adapter and set it to our list view. It's also where we're going to be referencing our list view and of course showing our dialog. Okay, file picker dialog when our fab button, floating action button is clicked. Then of course spacecraft, this is our project class, is going to represent it's our data object, is going to represent a single item, okay? A single spacecraft item or a spacecraft object. These are its properties. It's going to have a name that is the image name, and then the URI that is our image URI. So that's it. That's our spacecraft class. Next, let's move on to our adapter. Now, here, the first thing that we're going to do as our base class, we're going to have our base adapter. Okay, the moment we derive from it, we'll have to implement uh, these methods get count. This is going to return for us the total number of spacecrafts we're having, get item, a single object. For us, a spacecraft object that we shall be returning, then get item ID, we return the position as the ID, then get view, we're going to inflate our model.xml into a view object and then return it. Now, we're also going to have uh, the constructor right here, passing the context as well as our array list of spacecrafts. So, we'll come over right here to our get view method. What we do here, first we check if our view object is null. Now, if it's not null, if it's null, that is, we're going to inflate it from our layout. Okay, so we come right here, inflate it using our layout inflator class. That form we pass in the context, we call the inflate method. We pass in the layout that we want to inflate a view group, and then we then shall attach 
of course that particular view object or view group we say false we're going to have our spacecraft right here by calling it getting it from a this dot get item which gives an object we cast it to a spacecraft object we reference our views then of course we bind our data now for text view we simply call set text method for image view we're going to use the picasso now take note picasso dot with we pass the context dot load then we get the uri from our object data object then of course we resolve the image right here we show it well meanwhile we are loading our data and then of course to handle our item clicks we come right here and then show the name of the spacecraft when a particular item is clicked this is it this is our custom adapter class the first thing of course we come we have all this view we declare it then of course we're also going to insertion an array list of strings that we're calling file paths take note this particular array is going to contain our file paths okay we shall be getting them from our dialog our file picker dialog so the first thing that we're going to do when our button is clicked our floating action button what do we want to do well we want to open our file picker activity and then of course uh, pick our data and then of course return them now for us to open it this is what we're going to do over uh, right here okay when it's click the first thing we're just going to make sure that we clear our array list over here then we come instantiate it by calling the get instance file picker builder dot get instance then of course for us i want to use a uh, five we want to pick only five images okay from our dialog a maximum of five now you can set right here the maximum that you want the okay then you have it right here so the set selected files file paths then set activity we pass in the theme for the activity then pick then we pass in the context this this is it right here this is going to help us open that particular activity and then of course pick the files now to return them let's come over right here and then override the own activity result okay so on activity result right here take note we are passing in request code result code and then of course the data what we'll do first we're going to be switching through our request codes now to do that one let's just come over uh, right here and then we switch uh, through now case file picker a uh, constant the request code then we're going to come right here with the if else statement so if result code we check if it's okay and our data is not equal to null take note that the data is right here the intent we're being passed if this is the case okay we're passing data from our file pick activity to our main activity here we're passing it via the intent here so if that's the case then what are you going to do well file paths data dot get string array list extra then file picker console dot key selected photos we get our selected photos then spacecraft s we declare it and then of course we come and search it our spacecraft array list now we come loop uh, through our file paths okay remember we will fill our file paths with our data right here so how now a uh, string path file paths we use uh, for each uh, loop over right here s equal to for each particular iteration we shall be insertiating our spacecraft then we come we set the name okay we set the name the name remember this is going to be a path so we're simply getting the last name okay the name of uh, from that particular path the substring the last name the name over right here then we come set our URI so URI dot from file we first instantiate our file by passing in the path this is going to give us a file object now we get our URI from that particular file path from that particular file then of course we come add a spacecraft to our spacecraft collection we're doing this one in a loop then we'll come over right LV dot set adapter new custom adapter okay we pass in the contact then of course our spacecraft collection does it does it give this is going to do for us uh, this is how we're going to be uh, picking images and then of course passing them to a list view does it does it let's run our project and then of course uh, have a look Here you can see who are, this is what we're having if we come click our fab button then of course it opens for us our picker activity we come let's say that i want to show these three images i click done our three images get shown over here okay 
or if I want to replace them, I simply come pick uh, the images with which I want, uh, want to replace them with. Let me say I want these four. I click done over here. We replace our images over here. Okay. This is it, guys. This is what we've looked at. I'm hoping you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, please hit the like button, share the video. Make sure that you subscribe so that you don't miss any of our future Android tutorials. Otherwise, take care. I'll catch you in the next tutorial.